I'm Ross Maddock with your closing comments for Friday, July 12th. Uh, this continues to be just an impressive year of extremes here in the weather forecast as we continue to uh, get this volatility built up in the, in the green markets, livestock markets tied to all these events. So we had a very strong close on the, on the day and a very strong close on the week here for the, for the greens. Corn currently up or selling up 10 cents here. September contract, September soybeans up 14. We had Chicago wheat up a penny and a half here on the day, Minneapolis up a penny and a quarter, and KC wheat up five and three quarters. So on the week, uh, more impressively, we had corn up 18 cents in December contract, November beans up 37. Uh, spring, September spring wheat up nine and, three, nine and a quarter cents, and September KC wheat up 22. So all around, we're gonna be watching the weather over the weekend. We got that Gulf moisture here building in the south, um, hurricane talk down there, which is gonna add some more moisture in certain areas and dry out others as we move ahead. Um, so both extremes are going to be watched very closely in the weeks ahead. Uh, we also have a, another crop report so we create some more volatility here on um, August 12th that we'll be watching very closely what USDA comes in at that time. In the meantime here, we'll, um, we move over to the livestock markets. Uh, also impressive there, getting support from the outside markets down to record high, the dollar trending a little bit lower, support of commodities in general. But August, feed, uh, August Fed cattle closed up a dollar forty-seven and a half in the week. August feeder cattle closed up 277 on the week. August hogs up 360 on the week. And milk actually closed down 36 cents after hitting uh, midweek highs and posting reversal there from those highs. So um, a lot of impressive things going on. We'll continue to watch what's, what's gonna play out as far as the market fundamentals. But even in the cattle market, we are seeing a little more demand here um, versus what supply we have. And that's what's supporting us today with the cash market. Up. And the fat cattle for instance up as much as 116.50. I'll close with a disclaimer, past performance is not indicative of futures results. Futures and options trading involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers.